Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Alex Russell from the Experimental Gambling Research Lab at CQ University Australia. Today I'm going to talk about sharing surveys in Qualtrics. Say you want to share a survey with a collaborator or a supervisor, um, how to do it and how to accept a collaboration as well, and maybe some things that you need to know about there too. There's some special little tricks for those of us who are working within, say, an organisation like a university as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's a survey that I've started just for the sake of having a survey to show you how all this works. Obviously, you know, very basic, but the idea here is to uh, highlight that I started the survey and that means that I'm the survey owner. So even if I collaborate this survey with other people later on, I'm still the one who owns it. Now, that's important for a few reasons because people who receive a collaboration, people who you collaborate with, can't collaborate the survey on to other people. The only person who can collaborate is the survey owner. So this is important for, say, a student to supervisor relationship where, you know, a student is programming their survey. Let's say later on they, you know, finish up their degree and the supervisor, um, you know, wants to look at using similar kind of work with somebody else. They, the supervisor can't share it on any further. They can make a copy of it and I'll show you all that in a sec. So whoever starts the survey is the owner, and you might want to think about that if, let's say, you've got a research assistant or someone like that helping you program your surveys, you might want to start the survey yourself, collaborate with them, and then they can do all the programming and editing later on. So whoever owns the survey, it's, it's a pretty important thing. If you want to transfer ownership of the survey, users can't do that but brand admins can so at cqu at the moment i'm a brand admin if you need to transfer ownership of a survey you can but only at cqu i'm only an admin at cqu otherwise you need to talk to whoever is a brand admin at wherever you are all right so only the owner can collaborate uh, with other people on a survey let me show you how we do that so here in the, uh, the newish user interface, we have this tools menu up the top here, and we have the collaborate uh, uh, link here in the menu. Now, if this is grayed out, it means that you're not the owner and you can't collaborate. Sometimes it's not always that obvious who the owner of a survey is. Uh, but if it's in black, it means I can collaborate, and then I'll get this sharing box. Now, this will become useful because this is where you can go to see who you've shared the survey with already and what rights they have as well. Now to share the survey with somebody, you can either enter their email address or if you're part of an organization and they are too, there's something else that I'll show you in a second. So at CQU, ideally don't use their email addresses. I'll show you why in a minute. But if you're collaborating with someone say outside of CQU, um, then, or, or you're not from CQU and you're watching this video and you're collaborating with someone with, you know, who isn't uh, in your same organization, you can just enter an email address here. So I could enter my email address um, and that's all I need to do, right? I can just enter in an email address there and it will work just fine. Now for me, um, it's not allowing me to add it because it knows that this email address is me. So let me enter, say, another one of my email addresses. There we go. Now I can add this person. You can type in an email address, if you uh, an email message, if you like. Um, you know, so Alex, here's the demo survey, um, and whatever else you want to say, and click OK. And now that's been shared with them. But you'll notice here, there's also these other boxes that I could tick, and this is about what kind of rights you want the person to have. For me, normally, I'm quite happy for someone to have all of the rights to a survey, you know, to not just edit the survey, but to be able to view reports here. And there's various options here, like viewing the data and things like that. Um, being able to activate or deactivate the survey, so being able to make it so it's not available anymore, for example. Um, being able to make a copy, that one's important, because remember, the person who owns the survey is the person who can collaborate with other people. And if someone's collaborated a survey with me, I can't collaborate it on, but I could make a copy of the survey and then I own that copy and I can collaborate that on. Um, or to distribute it as well. So, you know, it depends on what kind of rights you want to allow someone to have. And by default, they don't get a lot of rights. So I would also, 
for me personally, I go through and click all these boxes. You might have a very good reason not to allow all of these options for somebody. That's up to you. Um, but for me, I just let them all um, uh, be there. If I want to change someone and remove someone from having access to a survey, I can just hit this button and remove them too. So I'll hit save there. And I've now collaborated that survey with somebody else. They'll receive an email saying that a survey is there for them. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Uh, but just to go back into that collaborate box, now you can see this person you know, has all this access. Um, and if you have multiple people who have access to the survey, you'll see all of their email addresses or names here. All right, so that's how you do it with an email. That's very, very simple. Um, let's have a look at what that email looks like when it comes through. Okay, so here's the email that I just received at my other email address saying that a survey had been shared with me. And there's some you know, information here on how to uh, accept this uh, collaboration. But because it's been shared to my email, I also get this thing, this collaboration code. And it's not immediately obvious where you put this collaboration code in Qualtrics to, uh, to accept the collaboration. So I'll show you where to go there. Now you may not get a collaboration code if someone has shared it with you via say an SSO login. And I'll show you what that means in a second. But if you have received a collaboration code, here's what you do. Okay, so if we go back to our projects page and there's a little box that will appear here that says accept collaboration, but it's not there at the moment. It's kind of hidden. And I think this is a bit of a, you know, a problem with Qualtrics because it's not that obvious where to find this. So if I click on shared with me over here, now here's this accept collaboration button. I think that should be there all the time. This is, I think, a bit silly. But if I uh, say accept collaboration, I can copy that code that I received into uh, this box here and click submit and it will allow me to uh, have access to that survey now. Now I want to show you that as well. Over here, this shared with me menu, we can see there's a whole bunch of surveys here that ha someone else has started writing and has shared with me. And so this is how I can know who owns a particular uh, survey. So I can click on you know one of these things here. Here's Philip Newell, one of the fantastic researchers that we're doing some work with. Um, fantastic postdoc in our lab. Check out his research, doing some very cool things. Um, he did this thing here on online slot machines, which was, uh, I had a, an honor student, Chris Byrne, a few years ago, who made online pokies within Qualtrics. I want to show you that in a future video, fantastic stuff. Um, and we've taken that and modified it for another experiment. So I can see that Philip owns this survey. And so if I go into this survey and I try and collaborate that with somebody else, you'll see that I won't be able to because I'm not the owner. Right, so if I go to tools at the top here, uh, there's no collaborate option. Sometimes it might be there in grayed out or sometimes it's just not there. And that's because I'm not the owner of that survey, so I can't collaborate onwards with that. All right, so that's how I share a survey and accept a survey if it's been sent out via email. But at CQU, we have uh, what we call an SSO login. So SSO is that single sign-on or you know, that usual CQU login that you see whenever you log into StaffNet or the library or wherever. Most unis work with this where you have like a username and a password that you can use across all the different systems. Um, so it's not just the case at CQU, it's the case at uh, Sydney Uni and various other unis um, that you'll sign in with, uh, with your SSO login ra um, rather than say your email address and something. Um, so the good thing about that is that we don't necessarily have to work with collaboration codes if we have SSO set up. Um, so if I go and back into collaborate here, maybe this time I'm not going to share with someone's email address. I'm actually going to share with their SSO user account. So let's pick someone. Let's go with Philip Newell. Right? So I can start typing in his name and you'll see he's actually got two accounts, one here um, associated with his email address and then one here which is newlp hash cqu and these hash cqu ones these are sso accounts this is his account that is associated with uh you know with his cqu qualtrics account so 
That's only there because he has logged into Qualtrics before. You can't share to someone's you know, SSO account if they haven't already logged into Qualtrics. So I was helping someone out um, just the other day and they were wanted to share with uh, someone at CQU, but that person at CQU had never actually logged into Qualtrics. So they need to do that first. The first time you log into Qualtrics uh, at CQU through SSO, um, you will uh, have your account set up and then other people can share with you. So it's better where you possibly can to share with someone's SSO rather than their email because they won't get a collaboration code and they don't have to muck around finding that accept collaboration box. Uh, instead, it will just go straight into their account and be available to them straight away. So wherever you can, use the SSO for sharing, uh, particularly at CQU because it works a lot better, but remember that people have to have set up their Qualtrics account first and that happens automatically the first time they log into Qualtrics by going to qualtrics.cqu.eu.au. So last thing on that point though, with this SSO login thing, you know, with the internal CQU login kind of stuff, obviously external people won't have CQU logins. So if you're sharing with someone from outside of the university, say you're collaborating with someone at another uni or um, industry or whatever, and you have a reason to share the survey with them, then uh, you will have to share with their email address. And that's okay. For any survey, you can share with a combination of uh, their, you know, someone's email address and then other people you can use SSO. It doesn't really matter. Um, but where possible, use SSO if you can. All right, so what can you do if someone has collaborated a survey with you and you know maybe they're not at the organization anymore or for whatever reason you need to make a copy of it? What you can do will depend on what they've allowed you to do. So remember we showed you those different rights that you can uh, select for each individual person that you share a survey with. Well. If they've allowed you to make a copy, for example, you can. You can just go uh, click on the three dots here back at your project page um, and you can say copy the project. All right, so I want to make a copy of this to my account. Um, I'll just call it a copy here and you know, you can ideally use folders to keep your um, surveys a little bit organized um, and I'll make a copy of the project. And so I've been allowed to make a copy of that project that will appear in my projects list in a second. And now I'm actually the owner of this copy. So if I look back at the original one, you'll see here that collaborate is grayed out and I can't select that. Um, but this one here, collaborate is an option for me because I own the copy. So it's all about who owns surveys in Qualtrics. What about if someone's left the organization? So this is really common with students and supervisors, for example. So first up, it's really important that you collaborate with each other. So if you have a student who's doing surveys, get them to collaborate the survey with you. Or if you are a student who's doing surveys, collaborate with your supervisor on this so that they have access to it at the very least. Make sure you tick as many boxes as you feel appropriate for the situation. Then let's say really, really common that students you know, do a really nice project, fantastic survey, um, and you know, you want to sort of show that maybe to other students down the track. Well, what you can do is, if you're allowed to, make a copy and share that with other people. Um, or potentially, you can apply for ownership to be transferred to you. This is going to be fairly rare that this happens. Um, but if you need to do that, then the original owner can't just give you ownership. You'll need to talk to a brand admin at CQU. That's someone like me. Um, and you'll need to show me that you're able and allowed to have access to this. This will depend on ethics as well, that you have clearance there. So these are the kind of things you just need to be aware of in terms of survey ownership and survey collaborations with CQU uh, and really any organization. So just to recap, Whoever owns the survey is the one who can collaborate with other people. You can collaborate with uh, someone via email address, whether they're within your organization, CU or another uni or another workplace, or even if they're you know, outside as well. Um, and ideally, if you have SSO set up in Qualtrics, if you log into Qualtrics you know, using some sort of internal username and password, 
um, that your organization uses, like at CQU, you know, we've got our sign-ins that we use. Um, if you log in with that SSO type thing, then ideally share it with someone else's SSO account as well. They just have to have logged in to Qualtrics for the first time and then you can look them up. Um, you know, in that sh sharing screen there. So remember, if you've had a survey shared with you, there are some limitations on what you can and can't do. You can't share it or collaborate it on any further unless you are allowed to make a copy of it, but you can only share that copy. And ideally, you know, if the, the original survey is still, you know, being used and changed, that's not the best way to do it. Ask the original owner to share it on. But if that original owner isn't around anymore, for example, say a student has left or a colleague is, is not working at the place anymore, um, then, you know, make a copy of it and share that on. You become the owner of the copy. Uh, if you have a survey collaborated with you as well um, and you do get a collaboration code, remember to open up the collaboration. It's not that obvious where the accept collaboration box is. You have to click on shared with me over the left here. Um, on your projects page and there's your accept collaboration button. All right, as always, lovely to chat. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Uh, feel free to, you know, like and subscribe to this channel uh, and share it widely. Always very happy to see more people uh, watching these videos. Feel free to reach out with questions. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye.